Hello everyone and welcome to the RNG University to continue our week-long journey of monocolor and because today is Explore Friday or Friday Night Explore, that's what I called it, uh, we're going to play Mono Red. Mono Red Burn, Mono Red Aggro, Red Deck Win. So uh, this deck, if you have uh, been playing in the Eldrin days, it's probably giving you flashbacks of horror as a uh, fever champion into uh, you know, uh, Ember Cleave is swinging at you and killing you. This mono red deck, in a nutshell, back in the days, it was so overbearing that everybody played it. And this this was when mono red was just the only deck you would play in the meta. Uh, and the only way to counter it is to just gain a bunch of life every turn. And there was only two types of deck in play until our own Epiphany came onto the scene. And anyways, this deck is all so fast. Right? But in Explore, I don't know if fast is good enough. There's a lot of even faster cards, so there's a lot of control elements that could stop it in its track. But let's try it out. So what we have in the early game is four fr uh, fr fanatic, fanatical firebrand. It's a uh, one mana, one one haste. That's all you need to know. But you can also sack it if you deal one damage. So if your opponents have blockers, uh, after a while, we can still deal damage with him. And we have four Fervent Champion. Now, this guy is just a 1-1 one, one, uh, First Strike Haster, and it looks like he only pumps other knights, which we don't really have in the deck, right? It's not a knight deck. But he makes all of our equip costs three or less if it's targeting Fervent Champion, and that works with Embercleave. Then we also have four Kumanos to make our creatures bigger. If we don't have a turn one play, Kumano is always a good turn one play alternative. Uh, it, does, it also deals one damage anyways. Then we have two uh, Ragavan Light, right? The, the Kari Zev Skyship Raider. I had to go and craft this card because, uh, you know, I don't have any. But this this girl brings out Ragavan. That's insane. So uh, it's a two mana, one three. First Strike Menace, which means it's hard to block. And then whenever she uh, attacks, we make a Ragavan. And then the, the Ragavan is also attacking. So, hey, that's that's good, right? That's a two one, two mana, three three, actually. Three four, actually, because it's a one three plus a two one. And then we have Robert Rich. Everybody knows about this card, right? Comes in and play, attacks. If we have less card in our hands an opponent, then we're robbing their cards. <laughs> I have used this to rob our opponent's uh, Thought Seize. Th thought Seize. Thought Seize. And yeah, Thought Seize. And then I basically won because I took away their wing card. Uh, it's a very one in a million chance, but at the very least, two mana, two two haste isn't that bad. Then we have four, Burning Tree of Emissary. This card is kind of funny because it's, it looks like it's red-green and it adds red-green mana. But basically, it's a free spell uh, if we get to, you know, combo it with other Burning Tree Emissary or play another two-drop with it. Then it's a free 2-2 two -two for a red deck. Free 2-2s two on the board is definitely something we appreciate in the early game. Late game, we're going to lose anyways. doesn't matter. There's no late game for red. And then, of course, uh, four, Bone Crusher Dryad. Two damage on the adventure side, four three uh, giant on the on the creature side. That if you target it, they will take two damage. Then we have annex, the harden of the forge, harden in the forge. Basically, uh, it's a very big creature. If we have devotion to red, which we do, we have a lot of red cards. And then uh, if whenever it dies, we can make one uh, two one one or, uh, or one 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 or two one one. Right. So yeah, that's uh, basically just a creature that brings more more creatures. Torben deal more damage with red source. And then Ember Cleave. Not, not much to say about Ember Cleave. Insanely good flash uh, in, in Chapman. Now, if you don't have this, I don't recommend cre creating this deck. I also don't recommend crafting Ember Cleave because it's a crazy mythic rare. But if you're playing the Dream Days, you probably already have a playset of Ember Cleave because everybody does, right? There's a uh, flash. It, uh, it has flash, right? It looks like it costs six, but it really costs one less for every creature you're attacking with. So it could cost just two. And when it comes into play, Immediately attached to a creature. That creature gets plus one plus one. Double strike and trample. That's insanely good. Imagine if you put that into play, target our Bone Crusher Giant, for example, then it will be a 5 4 double strike trampler. That's almost game. All right, and so that's why Ember Cleave's in the deck. And then the land base, you know, you can really just play a bunch of uh, mountains if that's all you have. But I put in two Castle Emerith because that was also in Odin days, right? This one is uh, pump all our creatures. Uh, if we, And it comes in play on top of a mountain, which we should. It's a mono red. And then two Den of the Bugbear so that we can den them with the uh, goblin tokens, which is also good. Uh, and then we have uh, red... Run Pat Ruin, which is untapped land. It's important to have untapped lands. Only then is a tap land. And uh, uh, Run Pat Ruin. Okay, I'm going to try to pronounce this word. Ramunap Ruins. Basically, uh, taps for colorless or pay one life to tap for red. And we can sack a desert to deal two damage to each opponent, which uh, if we need to have two more damage to win, we can do that. And then, uh, of course, one Sulk is in, just so that we can channel it if we need to. Otherwise, it's just a land. If you look at the land base, I think we have 20... 
uh, 24 lands, but a lot of these lands are, you know, having its effects. So they may not all come in as lands. Hopefully uh, we're not flooded, but that's the deck. All right. I played one test game with this to make sure that the deck works, and uh, I was able to rob their Thassis. That was very fun. I don't know if I can do that again. Uh, let's see how good Mono Red is in Explore. I don't have very high hopes because I want Explore to be not Mono Red, but this looks like a very strong deck just on the cards themselves. And we're playing against Al Orange. Is that Mr. President? All right. Uh, this is what I was afraid of. I'm flooding a little bit. So I'm gonna keep, but not the best keep. So we're gonna den into mountain because uh, castle is gonna come into play tap. So let's just uh, get our champion in. Let's hope that we draw Embercleave. Ah, well, I guess a mirror match will go. Uh, that's not good. Now we just have a bunch of lands. These don't do anything, and I'm gonna waste my mana. Pick one. Monastery Swiss Fear. Monastery Swiss Fear. No attacks. Well, if he's not gonna attack, should I attack? He's tapped out. Alright, I want to kill the Swiss Fear, I guess. This big Swiss Fear, and I'll let my Fervent Champion die. Not fun, but you know, I'll do it. Uh, there was a play where I killed this and kept my Fervent Champion. I guess that was the other play I could have made. Top decking Lance isn't fun. What the heck is this? Uh, into the battlefield, deal 2 damage, okay. Well, can't block those. Um, I want to attack with both, right? Let's race. I have to race him. Ah, uh, he's not racing me though, so... Let's den it up. I don't need all that land. Uh, I don't know if I want to kill this because he probably has a spell to buff the board. Nothing? Okay. Wow. That's what I was afraid of. I'm getting flooded a little bit. I don't like being flooded. Sulk is in. One, two, three, four. What if I do this? Now it's one, two, three, four, five, right? I get to kill three things. Not that great. I can still kill that, but I have a one, one now. And they have a den still. Huh, that's interesting. I'll take the one. You want to trade? I mean, the den is just there. He's using it as a blocker. Bone crusher in my face. Okay. Uh, bone crusher in play. Yeah. Very good. My turn. Oh hey, let me get a double striker. I don't know. Double striking. Uh, two two. Not that good against a Bone Crusher Giant. Alright, that's it. A little late, and that's what happens if, um... I don't remember if we went first. Uh, we went first, but we had too many lands. I 
I don't like Monetary Swiss Sphere in the, this deck because it has a lot of creatures, right? So it's not just a burn deck, and Swiss Sphere is better for a burn deck. It's not bad though. If uh, you're missing some cards, Swiss Sphere can be a replacement, especially like the Fervent Champion, things like that. Fervent Champion is so good when you have multiple because they pump each other and then they make Ember Cleaps cheap. Once you achieve a rank badge, you can't lose it until the season ends. I mean, okay. I, I think I've fell in ranks before, but probably it's just from, you know, like Diamond or Platinum 3 to Platinum 2 or, or vice versa. Okay, well, apparently no one's playing Explore because can't find an opponent this way. I also can't quit. So, nice server we got here, Arena. People don't play Explore anymore? You get a new daily quest every 24 hours. This is the longest I've ever waited on video. This is me right now. I'm gonna explode and all of my shards are gonna kind of uh, evaporate because I'm being thanos Really? Still waiting for an opponent? I can't even quit out of this. I can replay the color challenge, if that counts. A whole minute! There we go. A whole minute just to face against Lavaswi. Hey, that's diamond. That, this is how little people are playing Explore. And then we draw. Yeah, so... This is typical arena experience for you. You're here on the ground floor experiencing it yourself. Completing quests is the best way to earn gold, mastery pass, and mastery orbs. Well, if that's true, then why don't you give us more quests? Okay, we found an opponent rather fast now. Now we're playing against Calvin. That's the same avatar. I wonder if it's the same person. I'm just giving his real name. We get to go first! And an Embercleave. Wow. That is... That is fine by me. Okay. Uh, it's the uh, Ingenuity deck. You gotta burn? Fire Impulse. They're probably just gonna counter every one of our spells. They didn't counter the Annex. Impulse. This is a legendary creature, so when I play a second one, it would just die. I wonder if he's going to play anything or just hold up mana. If he holds up mana, I'm not going to cast Ember Cleave. Obviously. Actually, I can't cast Ember Cleave anyway because Dan comes into play tapped. So it didn't matter there. No, I really hope he holds up mana. Okay, he is holding... Oh, well, now that's a problem for us. Do we want to play the Dan? I do want the Ember Cleaf out, but he has four, three mana. He definitely have a counter spell. That deck not having a counter spell? Come on. He takes the damage. We'll play another Annex. I wonder if the. It is five. Okay, so I'll keep this one. It is five, right? It counts as five? I want to know. Okay, it does. And I'll play then. First Mari command. He creates a treasure token, draw two, discard two. That's interesting. Um, I, I'm hoping it's not a... You know what, next turn. A Brotherhood's End or a 
anger of the gods or something, because then I'll just lose. Alright, do I lose if it's anger of the gods? My annex is gonna give me a... Oh. What is he gonna get out? Gear Hulk. Instant of Sorcery. Fun. I got a three. Huh. How should I do this? This will make my Ember Cleave cost four, right? Let's see if it does anything. I cannot bugbear because yeah, I cannot do that. Um That's no fun, but I gotta do it. Get a bunch of 1-1s one -one though. Clear dirt board. I still have an Ember Cleave out. Fable the Mirror Breaker. Come on. Annex again? Okay, I'm gonna play a land. A 3 mana for Ember Cleave, 3 mana for Annex. Let's see if he wants to kill this 1-1. One, one. If he doesn't, I'm going to go in for attacks. Uh, I'll go in for the damage. If he wants to block the 1-1, one, one, that's fine. He takes 4. That's a lot of spells that our opponent has. Now, if he has another ingenuity, I think we just lose here. Yeah. Like I said, uh, the, the decks in Explorer probably are scarier than Mono Red. Uh, this, I, this mountain is disgusting. Come on. You have a Steam Van and you have a basic mountain? You can do better than that. Nothing. So he wants to kill my Annex while I'm trying to equip. Well, I'm going to try to equip anyways because... What else am I going to do? Auto Aura. I guess I can pump it for one and kill this so he doesn't get a he doesn't get a treasure token. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to play out in the annex again? No, if I kill it, I'm just playing not to lose. I gotta play to win. And if this gets countered, that doesn't get countered. But if it does get countered, I, I lose anyways. That was a fast pick. Probably ingenuity this turn. If he attacks, I know I lose. He doesn't attack. Okay, so we'll repeat the process. This does an extra one damage, right? Whereas in this could do an extra two damage. Okay, that's a treasure token. Does he have in is ingenuity an instant? Torrential Gear Hulk. Uh, can't stop it. Is she gonna play Opus for free? Yeah, that's game. GG. Could not aggro him fast enough, and that ingenuity really killed us. But hey, our opponent's deck is a lot more expensive than we are, and the only reason why we stayed that long is because we had the Ember Cleave. That's the only mythic in the deck, and it's kept us alive for a little longer, but we're a mono red aggro, and apparently Explorer is fast enough that they can stop Explorer or uh, mono red aggro. 
Simon Guava. And this time we don't go first, and we don't have a one drop, so... Do I want to keep this, uh... What is, what is this? Giganta? Huh. So, I think that's the fire deck, right? No, Giganta means that they have to have one pip for every card. I guess I'll keep. Let's hope I get lucky. Look at that! Never punished. You wanna kill this? Wow. Opponent, come on. There you go. Fatal. Push. Ah! I did it too fast. Could've done one damage. I guess slow players do have the best of you because I was just waiting for him to end. Blood High Harvester. I should just bone crush it now, right? Before he gets a play on it? I mean, would he play anything on it? I don't think so, and there's no reason to run a Robert Rich into a nothing, so I'll just pass. No. He can kill it himself. Uh, if he if he wants to, if he kills it, then my Bone Crusher Giant does not go on an adventure. That's the only thing that would av advantage him from killing his own Blood Harvester, but that's not even that good. Okay, three mana for Jaget. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, guess what? You can rob! <laughs> Robber of the rich. Coming in for robbing. Oh, deadly dispute. Nice deck you got. I think that's whenever I attack, right? Well, never mind. Uh, that's not very good. I have three cards. You should read the cards first, like I was doing. I guess you can do that. That's four mana. It's not very efficient. Um, let's see, I can tap this. Uh, oh no, this is just one mana. I can attack. This will cost five. I don't have five, so... Uh, I can play Annex. Annex is okay. If he kills Annex, I have more 1-1s. One -ones. Why he did that? Does he have a four mana play he wants to play? Make? I don't know how good that is. Okay, well, I can't play this. Can I? Sacrifice two other creature. No, this attack will cost four for Ember Cleave, right? For whichever one he blocks with. Uh, whereas, and I can just Bone Crusher Giant one of them and play. Uh, if I play. Burning Tree Emissary, I get to free Bone Crusher Giant, and then I have two other mana to not do anything. That's not that good. Okay, so this sacrifice two other creatures. Any number of opponent loses two life, and he adds two. And this uh, Blood High Harvester sacks to uh, kill something, right? I'm gonna Ember Cleave. Wait, this makes me sack? Sack a creature. I have to get, get rid of one creature anyways. I don't know if he can play two creatures in one turn with two cards. So, let's kill his Blood High Harvester. It's a little bit of a bigger creature.
Fable? Okay. That's not too much right now. Ah! That does get to sack two then. Spend the mana pitching. Uh, his hand was perfect. He has two creatures perfectly, and I don't. So, do I want to kill his priest, or do I want to bone crush a giant out? I can use it to play the Bone Crusher Giant. And then if he has two creatures, which he can with the cauldron, I don't know what that is. Right? But it's probably better if I hmm. I'm always one off. Always one mana off. This priest is scary though. It gives him mana too. Alright, I don't actually know how good red deck win is in Explorer. Now that I looked at it, it seems like the only deck it was able to beat was another red deck win. Which happened to be me, unfairly. What the heck was that? Bloody Betrayal. Okay. You want to betrayal my... This is just a stealing deck? Giganta. There we are. If I attack here, this will cost 3 to equip, so that's all I can do. If he blocks, we just trade. And he gets a free turn. But if I don't attack here, he can tap it for 5 mana. He gets 10 mana next turn. Alright, I'm going to quit. This this game is over. Not drawing lands. Uh, he's just going to grow bigger. And I he's at 13. I'm not going to burn him from 13. Alright, I finished my quest from losing. That's some fun. So, uh, when it comes to Explore, I, I am really trying to explore different decks. This is probably one of the decks that doesn't seem to work. This is Monocolor. Monocolor decks are always weaker by comparison anyways. And the fact that we're losing to every version of deck possible is not fun. And we're going first a lot too. So that's even worse. This time we are going first again. No mountains though. So we'll den into... Uh, Sulkison, probably, and then get a card file? Depending on what he plays. Another Jigant. Oh, okay. So if he attack, he will attack. Now we have a mountain. Now we're, we have no fear. So, we'll get to Carrie. Carrie does 3 damage on her own, right? This is not, this is only first strike, though. Whereas in Fervent Champion, that's, that's off curve. So, I have to play Carrie. Giganta in a burn deck. Okay, it's Boros. It's Boros so far. It's attacking. I'm not gonna block. Really? Uh, Dribble Arcanist. Okay, that's the deck. That is the deck. So, we'll play our Fervent Champion. Pump each other. It's a lot of damage. He doesn't. He doesn't block. All right. I guess a big spell is coming my way. Can he cast a big spell this way? Uh, whenever it attacks, you may cast a tar target instant sorcery card with mana value. Okay, so I don't know if it's coming my way. Kill a Swiss Sphere and respond. Plus one plus zero and you draw a card. Good job. 
This is very big for you, the Ben. I'm at 12. Taplan. Well, this is gonna be four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's four. This is gonna be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine damage will bring him down to not enough. So let's get a Bone Crusher Giant out. We'll get the Firebrand out. Uh, this will do three, four, five, six, seven. Right? I'll bring him to four. This will bring him to three. I don't need to do this. It's haste. I can do it whenever. Alright, I'm at 12. He's at four. Uh, if he targets Bone Crusher Giant, he'll go to two. And we can probably win. As long as there's no lifelink coming out somewhere. Haste. Alright, that's fine. You can haste. Ancestral Anger. Look at that. Trample haste. Scry one to the top. He wants to draw that card. Maybe it's a land. It is a land. Please don't be lifelink. Is there a one mana lifelink here? Is there a one mana lifelink? Even if there is a one mana lifelink, right? It's not vigilance anywhere. He has only the anger left. Homestead courage. Okay, it's vigilance. That's fine. He's not lethal in me. No, you dumb dumb. You're not gonna give trample to your big guy? Come on. Alright, so I can pass the blocker. I will block this and I'll block this. All right? Take one. Uh. Did I win or did he win? I'm confused. Why am I at zero? And he's at three. Anyways, I won! <laughs> I don't know what happened, but anyways, that's how we play Mono Red Explore. I finished another quest. Didn't even know it. Alright, so let's look at the deck again real quick because I really want to talk about this deck. Uh, Mono Red, right? It's very standard, very simple to play. It's not very fun because you're kind of at the mercy of your opponent's deck and your draws. If your draw is good, like two Fervent Champion into a turn two, into a turn three play, then you can expect to win more often than not. I wouldn't say 100% of the time, but it will be good enough in those scenarios. But those scenarios are very rare, especially Explorer, where there's a lot of decks going on. So what the way I won was because our opponent, uh, the, the way that I won before, was because our opponent was not a full-on control deck. You can prey on combo decks, and against aggro decks, if you go first, you have a very good chance of winning. But if your opponent's control, which Explorer is full of controls with your uh, Ingenuity decks, with your Azorius controls, there's a lot of control decks, and that really, you know, slows us down. And, you know, our, a lot of our cards are too high impact that when they get countered, we just get stopped. Like cards like uh, Annex, right? If it gets countered, we don't really get anything out of it. That's three mana wasted. Like Embercleaf, uh, if we need that to win, if they get it gets countered, usually that's our whole turn, and now we're just attacking with small critters, and we can't really win that way. So overall, I don't really like exploring with uh, Mono Red Burn or Red Deck Win too much, but it is definitely a deck you can try out with if you don't have a lot of the rares. Uh, you can kind of slot in, like, uh, instead of Fervent Champion, you can use um, Monetary Swiss Sphere. Instead of Kari, you can use um, uh, Felden. Right, uh, and you know the decks will work a little less good, but what you definitely need to have is Embercleave. Just having Embercleave will bring your win rate up significantly. But overall, red deck win. You you can only expect to win if you go first. That's kind of the idea. That's all I got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time.